you're back to you on the YouTube video. Today, I'm going to be doing an updated makeup routine. This is how I do my makeup now, guys. So, this is the finished product. If you want to know how I do my daily makeup routine, keep watching. Before we get started, if you guys haven't watched all of my makeup routines I did before this one, go click right here. Give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and have your post notifications on. Before we start, I want to let you guys know that I am no professional. I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to makeup, but I just like to share my routine with y'all because that's what you guys ask for and y'all are my besties period so let's get on with the video also before this video starts can we just ignore my messy ass room i don't know how it got messy i just cleaned it this morning but it's messy again i'm sorry bare face moment period First things first is my eyebrows, like always. I use the Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade in 376 Medium Brown. You could get this like anywhere. I get it at like Walmart or Target. I'm gonna be using this brow brush with the spoolie on the other side. To do my brows, I like, I use the cap to like flatten this brush. Sometimes I do it differently, but you just wanna start by drawing a line either on the top or the bottom. So I drew the bottom line, now I'm gonna draw the top line and fill in the back. Now that I have the shape, I'm just gonna fill in the part that I drew and start blending it up here without putting extra product in the front. You guys will see how it looks. I don't really ever get like more product from this. I kind of just use the cap unless I need more product, but I try not to. Once I get it pretty much filled all the way, just spoolie the front and it should be done. If it looks all dirty up here, it's okay because we're going to fix it. Now I'm going to do the same to the other eyebrow and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, now that we have the eyebrows filled in how we like them, I'm going to take this like type of brush. It's kind of flat and like rounded i usually use concealer but i don't i ran out of concealer i don't have any right now so we're gonna go in with this nars foundation it's in the shade light five i'm just gonna put like a little droplet okay got a little droplet and now we're just gonna carve out our brows if you don't know how to carve out your brows basically you're just gonna outline them with the concealer or foundation or whatever you're using to clean them up and make sure that everything is corrected I always start at the bottom, so I'm gonna do both of the bottom first. Boom, now I'm gonna do that side. Now I'm going to connect them just to like Yeah, now I'm going to do the top Okay, this is how they're looking Once they're like this, then we're going to move on to foundation You can blend it out, but I don't see the point in blending it out Because I'm going to blend it out when I put the foundation on, so I'm going to flip up my nose ring So I don't get foundation on it Going in with the same NARS foundation And a little bit of this Born This Way matte foundation In the shade Vanilla I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender and blend all that. Okay, so to blend in the eyebrow concealer, you just... That didn't explain anything, but I hope like showing you guys can explain it because I don't know. And then the top. Thank you. 
Okay, once this is all on my face, for the middle part, all you're gonna wanna do is literally just tap in the middle until it looks good, just like that. Now I'm gonna go in with the Porefessional Super Setter Setting Spray and just spray that all over my face. I usually put chapstick on before my foundation, but... Your girl forgot, so put on your Burt's Bees lip balm, period. Next things next, I'm going with this cream contour by Mario in the shade medium. It just looks like this, it's like a contour stick. And on the other side it has this, but I don't use that. I'm gonna go ahead and use this, like I don't know what it is, but it's like a circle brush, like cylinder. I don't know, but y'all can see how it looks. It's an eye blender 15. Get some of the contour and we're gonna nose contour now. For everyone, I feel like nose contour is just dependent on how you like your nose to look and how your nose looks regularly. So, but for me, this is how I do my nose contour. I put a little, a little line at the bottom. Then we're gonna go right over that. And I don't do my nose contour perfect because it just gets blended out. So make a little, you know, button. And then just two lines. That is so bad, but trust the process, y'all. Trust the process. So this is how nose contour looks. We're gonna take a little bit more and put a line right there and a line right there. Now I'm gonna take this brush. I don't know what type of brush it is, but it looks like this. And we gonna blend that shit. I try to blend in like circular motions. It just makes it look more natural. And then for the top, blend the contour like, like that. Same for the sides. Okay, now we're gonna go in with this same concealer brush that we use for the eyebrows and the same little dollop of concealer or foundation, whatever you're using. Just get a teeny tiny bit on there and make the... A little highlight. I'm gonna wipe that off and get it on the tip of it like this and make a line down my nose. So with the little highlight, sometimes I do it perfect, sometimes I don't. Today I did not, you know, it's a little bit way fatter than it needs to be. So I'm gonna go in with this. I'm not gonna put any extra product on it because there's still a little bit and I'm just gonna... You know, just make it a little bit more straight. Now that you look crazy, you're gonna look even more crazy. Next is blush. This is the blush palette I use mineral blush to be honest just get any type of pink blush i just get a bunch of this pink blush and mix it with this like more neutral color tap it and put that all right here literally get so much blush like right here by your eye and the end of your brow and then you could kind of like mix it over here but yeah get some more of that shit Okay, and sometimes the blush is just like a little bit too much. I'm gonna take this giant fluffy brush. Blend it with the contour a little bit. Just blend that into my face. Now I'm gonna take this eyeshadow brush. Um, It's just like fluffy on this side and like flat on this side. It probably came in like an eyeshadow palette or something. I'm gonna use that same brush with this Fenty Beauty setting powder in the color banana. And we're gonna bake. So using this fluffy side, I'm just gonna take some right on my brush and make a line from top of my ear to like right here. So we could just cut that and make it look less dirty. Fill it in, do the same to the other side.
baking literally is the finished product like it makes the whole makeup look trust then i'm gonna get a little bit more and bake my nose contour so going right there and straight up Now it's like that, I'm just put a little bit, I just put the like excess under my eyes in a like triangle. You know, this, just lifting my face. Not me acting like I know what I'm doing. Go ahead and close your setting powder cause we're done with it. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes with this eyelash curler. And now I'm just gonna sit here with this baked for a bit. Catch you guys in like five. Later. Now I'm gonna put mascara on my eyelashes with these two mascaras. This one's called Lashcraft Big Volume Volume Extreme from Sephora. And this one's Mastery, Mastery Extension Supermodel Mascara. Both of these mascaras are like kind of running out. I've had them for a long time, but yeah, we're just gonna make our lashes black so that way when I put lashes on, these ones don't look dumb. If you get mascara on your eyelids, it's okay. I always do. And I'm not trying to make my eyelashes look like big or like good or anything. I'm just trying to make them black. They obviously have like powder and foundation on them right now and i just don't want them to be white under the falsies so if i were to just be going with my natural lashes i would do it like i would do the mascara way better okay now we're gonna take off this baking literally just use a big fluffy brush and swipe that shit off and then for the this part, oh my god, my nail. But for the part right there, just leave it right there for now because we're gonna get that. I'm gonna take off all the extra mascara with this. Okay, make sure this has no powder on it and then just blend this powder. Just like that. Now the nose contour basically just like dab the part that you had the white stuff on and then usually the nose would be done but since i put a little bit extra contour i need to blend that because it looks ugly now i'll put some more setting spray on Okay, so I literally just spent like a bunch of time looking for my black eyeliner and I completely lost it. I found this one, but like there's nothing in it. So I don't know. I don't know. We're going to go in with this kind of like burgundy. I think it's a, a lip liner, but we're going to use this. So what you would do next is you take your black eyeliner pencil and you're going to do your waterline. But I'm going to do it with this. That looks crazy. I don't know how I feel about it, but basically that's what you do. Okay, now that you have your eyeliner on, you're gonna take your lashes. I usually only use lashes from Just Flash It on Instagram, but I'm actually out right now. So I'm gonna be using these ones. My little niece got them for me for Christmas. This is the lash glue I use, Duo Lash Glue. I need to get more because I'm about to be out, but we're almost done guys put your glue on your lash i always do my right eye first i don't know it's just a preference i use these really tiny pink tweezers to put on my lashes i recommend if you're gonna be using tweezers for your lashes have a pair of tweezers that you only use for lashes and nothing else because your tweezers are gonna get up. because of all the glue and like everything they're gonna get okay how i place my lashes is i grab it from the middle to be honest i'm not a pro at placing lashes i'm kind of bad at it so you just kind of got to figure it out your own way but i just like place it in the middle 
and then just stick to sides to be honest like i don't really know what i'm doing either but sometimes it looks good and sometimes it don't and i have to redo it good thing today it looks good pop the glue on the next lash now once it's like pretty dry you gotta like pinch it together with the tweezers and make sure not to pinch yourself because that shit hurts okay spray some more setting spray you're gonna get your fan brush spray your fan brush as well i'm gonna go in with this palette i've had it forever i don't know i use this sparkly one but there's like barely any left so i use some of this one too and uh, that is your highlight okay i'm actually gonna go in with this fancy beauty because and i'm gonna use this one and once you put that highlight on girl put some more setting spray we don't like our faces to come off guys we really don't last things last is sometimes i'll just leave my lips natural but I like to go in with this brush that we use for the setting powder. The other side, I'll go in with this. It's like a light brown. Get some of that. Make sure you already have some chapstick on and outline your lips. Just like that for the top and then to the bottom. Just like that. And then just take like a neutral color, pinkish color. This is the finished product, y'all. Wow. Per. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give a big thumbs up. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications. If you guys end up doing my makeup routine, make sure to tag me on Instagram or something. I want to see y'all's recreations. Make sure to go watch all my other YouTube videos. Go check out all my other social videos. Bye, guys. Love you.